Right, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at my 2020 workshop. So as you all know, I haven't uploaded in a long time, but I've been very, very, very busy upgrading the garage to make it into a proper kind of more bike-esque workshop. So I bet you can all see the biggest difference, first of all, which has I've painted the whole garage white, well, except that wall over there, and that'll be done in the near future. And the next big difference is the old, the old workbench has gone. It's, it's disappeared. And then that meant I had to move the light from under the workbench to on the ceiling. This has improved the light by a mile and now the video should look much better, much brighter, much more full of colour. I've kept the lower bench and got rid of the overhead storage and I think that's really opened up the garage to make it feel more airy. I've also painted all the drawers and cupboards along the front here now to brighten everything up a bit more and it also makes it look a bit more modern than that old wooden effect. I've also replaced the top with a new piece of plywood that looks a hundred times better than the MDF. One of the biggest improvements that I've also made is the tool wall which allows me to quickly grab any tool that I need in a split second and I can put it straight back on there. So I can grab my hammer, I can hammer something in, then I can put it straight back on the tool wall, which is absolutely amazing. I've also left these little shelves here, which look quite nice. Um, I might paint them at a later date, but I don't know yet. They've got things on like tire sealants, the MO94, bit of degreaser, bit of lube, bit of grease, all that kind of stuff. I've just chucked on them shelves that used to be on the shelves that ran across here. So that's the workbench. That's only a bit of the garage. So let's move on to the rest of the garage. So here we have the boring things like the washing machine, the sink, the dryer, the cupboards full of miscellaneous stuff like tape, washing up liquid, oven clean, all that kind of stuff. But I have done one big upgrade here, which I've painted these in a wood paint, a white wood paint, and the finish on them has come out actually quite good. Surprising it was just done with a brush over a couple of days. It's really made it look a lot better than this horrible old wooden finish, and it's really brightened up the garage. So I've also painted the door over here in a dark grey colour, which makes it look absolutely amazing, and it really brings more life into the garage, and it makes it look brand new. It goes with more of the aesthetic that I'm going for, for more of a modern, kind of simple kind of look in here, and it's worked out quite well. Moving around this way a bit more, we have the mini fridge, which is always full of a bit of booze. It's also full of a, uh, a pork joint in there for Sunday roast tomorrow. <laughs> Very nice. We also have the freezer in here, which as I said in the last one, it's got enough food to last a zombie apocalypse, and it also looks to be leaking, which is probably not the best thing. So I'll come back and check if the freezer is okay in a minute. So as you can see, I've painted all this wall over here. So this wall is nearly 99% done over here. There's just a couple more things that I need to change and tweak about it. This was actually the first wall I did. This was a little test patch I did with some normal emulsion paint and then I've gone over it with all masonry paint. I think it looks absolutely amazing. So over this side of the garage, we have still got the gym that's always been here. We've just got some boxes here for the time being that I've moved that I need to put in proper homes. Um, we've also got a TV up on the wall now, so I can watch it if I'm work working on my bike, put some GMBN on there, Seth's bike hacks, bit of single track sample or something like that on YouTube on there, or I can watch a film when I'm running or doing something like that. Well, if we use the running machine that is. I've also put some new shoe storage up there which I think looks quite simple, quite minimalistic. It's just made with a bit of architrave from around the door, drilled some half inch holes in there and then I've put some half inch wooden dowel in there. I think it looks quite clean, holds the shoes nice and tight on there, it looks quite good. I'm still missing one along the bottom where them two red plugs are but that can come in the near future. It only take me five minutes to build it and paint it. Oh yeah, and there's my bike as well. It's absolutely filthy from a night ride that I went on last night, so uh, I tried to keep it out of shot because it's quite dirty. That's a job for me to do tomorrow. So I've still got a couple more things to do, which are new foam towel floor. Paint this wall and put some new bag storage hooks. And paint the ceiling as well. So apart from that, the shop is pretty much finished. So thanks for watching once again, and remember to like, subscribe, and turn the little notification bell on to be notified every single time I upload a new video. So that's it from me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video once again. Remember to keep on riding and keep on smiling, and I'll catch you guys out on the trails. I'll see you in the next one.